Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some zombies. And we got a one-lander, but this is not the kind of one-lander I like to see. Though, you know, I could Festering Mummy, Village Rites, Ghoul Callers Chant. Ah, and then the Lazatab Reaver. It's, it's almost keepable. If like this Ghoul Razor had been another swamp, it would have been great. But I think we're going to ship this one back. This is basically the same hand, except we have Carnophage and two other lands. So we're going to keep this, and I'm actually going to put a land back. And we're on the draw. Opponent is on Tron. Cool. So we're going to hopefully be able to beat them down with Carnophage and then uh, finish it off with a Gem Palm Polluter. So let's pass the turn. It's one of those games where we want to be as fast as possible. Um, really wouldn't mind seeing a um, Shepherd of Rot at some point. Opponent plays. Ooh, are they going to have Natural Tron? Chromatic Star. And... Nope. Okay, no Ancient Stirrings. So we are going to pay for our Carnophage. That's the third land. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to get in with our Carnophage. Going to play Butcher Ghoul. Pass the turn. And Gem Palm Polluter is great because they can't counter it. Oh, wow. Natural Tron. Seven man on turn three. Only one color source so far, though. But they could, like, have a Prophetic Prism or something. Or I guess maybe here it looks like Ancient Stirrings. We'll see. Oh. What's going on? Oh. Kozilex Predator. That's not something you see every day. It's going to be like Eldrazi Tron for Popper. And there's the Prophetic Prism. They have something to do for their, for their last mana. Okay, so don't have to worry about counters, I guess. I do have to worry about a 3-3, three, three, though. Wow, another Prophetic Prism. Oh, opponent really had a really good turn 3 there. That's excellent. Uh, do I want to attack? No. <laughs> so I'm not going to pay life. Um... I think I'm just going to Village Rites the Butcher Ghoul right now. Going to Undying it. And then hopefully maybe get some removal off the top or something. There's a Reaver. So I think we'll just cast that and pass the turn. And then I think what I can even do is um, I can double block the Kozilex Predator if they attack with it. And then get one of them back with Ghoul Razor. Ooh, crusher. Yeah, that's a fast crusher. Not sure how I beat this. Ah, oh, it's re so refreshing to see something different come out of Tron. Like this is this is actually cool, you know. If they control a spawn, they make three spawns. Otherwise, make one. Great. No tax. Okay. How do I beat the Crusher? Well, I think it involves paying for the Carnophage. Oh, man. Gets verdict. So bad. <laughs> um, right, right, right. So, I think we are going to cycle Baron more. Let's see. Two, four, six. Ugh. Do I play a Ghoul Razor for no value just so I can block this Crusher? Oh, that feels so bad. Do I have a choice? What else could I do? I could, um, I could discard. I mean, I could, I could let him tack, sacrificing the Lazatep Reaver and a land, and then next turn, Ghoul Razor into Lazatet Reaver, and then I have a better block the following turn. I guess that's okay. Then I take eight. Whew. That's nasty. We still have three cards. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think we might as well get the value. And uh, we'll go to 10. Hopefully we don't get killed by a um, th uh, rolling thunder. It's very possible, though. Double prophetic prism. Not quite sure how we're going to beat this, though. We need to be wicked fast. Shouldn't have paid for the Carnophage then. Oof. Man. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, this is just Eldrazi Tron. <laughs> Feels so weird saying that, because this is a... It's usually... And the modern deck looks nothing like this. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I know what I'm... You know, know what I'm saying. But, uh... The, it's, this is Eldrazi Tron. Just, oh my goodness, look at these three threes. So many spawns. And these are, at least these are zero ones, so. Uh, so we're going to sacrifice Reaver Swamp. And then, uh, oh man, yeah, guess verdict looking so bad here. Uh, <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? I, I don't want to take 11. If I double block, one of these guys dies. I guess the Carnophage, they would, they would keep alive. And then, um, then I would Ghoul Razor. I guess I have to do this. Yeah, they're going to keep the Carnophage alive. Uh, I think I'm just going to cycle now. Probably should have done this again before I had to sacrifice my uh, Lazatip Reaver. Not that I think it's going to make much of a difference, but I get to draw, get to draw an extra card at least. Yeah, it's a few too many 3-3s three for us to handle. And yeah, we have to pay for the Carnophage, unfortunately. So yeah, we're paying for it. Uh, okay, so... We're gonna Ghoul Razor and Festering Mummy? To... Yeah, no, we're just dead. Yikes. Okay. How do we fight this? Well, Suffocating Fumes seems like a really good place to start. Choking Sands... Oop, Choking Sands also seems like a really good place to start. Probably want to run some amount. I don't know if the Life Staff is worth it. I wonder if Duress is even good. Probably not. I think Defile is going to be fine just to kill the 3-3s. Three so that's a lot of stuff to board in. I guess we take out... The, maybe the Festering Mummies? I don't know if the Festering Mummies are going to be very good here, so... Maybe take out a couple of those. Take out, like, one Ghoul Razor. Maybe go down to one Ghoul Razor. Um, Nameless Inversion is actually surprisingly very, very good here because of the amount of 3-3s uh, three that they're playing. Ghoul Caller's Chance, obviously great. I think we might cut one Carnophage, and then, like, maybe a couple Gem Palm Polluters. Maybe we, maybe we cut all the Gem Palm Polluters. And just play another Geth's Verdict and a Ghoul Razor. And try it like that. And our opponent had a wicked fast hand with Natural Tron, and their turn three was nuts. Let's just find no suffocating fume, but double double carrion feeder and shepherd of rot could mean some very quick kills, and three lands is fine. And you know, if they play a three three, that makes you know a, a certain number of spawns when they come to play, we can respond to the the spawn trigger uh, with Get's verdict and kill the three three that way. So that's definitely a possibility. 
we got to keep that in mind. But ideally, we'd have, you know, suffocating fumes into Geth's verdict. Okay, chromatic star, sure. Okay, Shepherd of Rot. Again, we're going to maximize our damage output. Being on the play helps. Can't remember if we were on the play or on the draw. I think we were on the draw in game one. Cracks it. Ancient stirrings. Yep. Okay. Getting a tower. Playing the tower. You got it. Into another star. Great. They're using their mana very efficiently. Defiles an excellent draw. Uh, I think we're just going to go with Carrion Feeder number two and get in for one. We're going to leave open Guess Verdict. Lose out on a little bit of damage there, but I think, uh, well, two damage. We missed out on one from the Shepherd of Rot and one from Festering Mummy next turn. But now we have Defile and Guess Verdict up. Well, or gets verdict up. If they have natural Tron here, which they don't. What could they have for three mana? Probably just more digging and, and fixing, I guess. Getting red. Uh-huh. Maybe hatching. Ooh, electricery, eh? Okay, um... So I guess we respond by using Shepherd of Rot. And then we're going to put all of our eggs in one basket. <laughs> sacrifice a creature. Sacrificing the Shepherd. Sacrificing the other Carrion Feeder. Now I'm glad we didn't play the Festering Mummy, although we could have saved both Carrion Feeders in this scenario. Okay, Crop Rotation. They do have Tron. Oh, nope, they're getting mana. All right. So red and green. Okay, so yeah. Oh, wow. Look at all that removal. We'll get some damage in. So I imagine they probably have the last Tron piece in their hand if they're doing that. Or maybe they're just really worried about not having colored mana. I guess we're about to find out. There's the mine. So here's what we're going to do. And guess verdict them. Gonna make two zero ones. They probably have more things to do. Nope. Fair enough. Ooh, that's a really good draw. Well, okay, let's get in. Opponent. Gonna chump. You got it. Take one. And I think we're just gonna ghoul college chant and play the Shepherd of Rot. And then hopefully that'll kill them in just a couple turns. We'll have to see, though. Depends on how much remo removal they have. 
Okay, ancient stirrings. Reveals a prism. Okay, that gets in their mana, their colored mana, which they're very much lacking. So I bet you they're really happy to find that. Get some redraw as well. Still have access to five mana. They haven't played a land yet either. Muldrifter. Yep, evoking Muldrifter. Uh oh, I think, did they mess up there? I think they did. sucks. So, um, yeah, unfortunately. Still sucks, though. So they'll take one here again, and then another four. Won't play the land. Don't need to. Can leave up double defile. Don't think they play four fours necessarily, so. Next turn, we'll see. I can also kill a Crusher with <laughs> double Defile next turn, which is pretty awesome. And I mean, they're just dead on my next swing. There's the Crusher. Can they give it haste or something? Now they're revoking the Muldrifter, yep. So they should have had an extra Muldrifter in play. They should have an Ulamog's Crusher and a Muldrifter right now. Or I guess I would not have attacked this way had they had that Muldrifter. So now they're actually really dead. Like, I think it, it probably would have made a big difference. Do I even show them that? So I just swing with these three. I don't think there's anything they can do. Yep. Okay. Don't need to show them defile. Okay, so that went better. I mean, that was a. I guess that was a more reasonable draw from them. <sighs> Kind of had the nuts last game. Ugh, I, I, I really don't know how to sideboard. Um, I, I think it was okay. Not sure if Carnophage is like the best thing ever against them. Maybe I'd rather see the Festering Mummies. At the same time, not really. Like those, these, None of our creatures line up particularly well against what's going on, which is why we need that heavy removal, right? Though maybe seeing the Muldrifters from a Sivog Lifestaff makes sense just to be able to punch through with our 1-1s one or whatever. Mm. I'm just going to run it back. Well, okay. I can carry and feeder and then uh, cycle Baron more as well. It's kind of a weak one, but also being on the draw is kind of crappy. Oh, no, no turn one play. Fine. Doesn't mean much, but here we are. Plant. Oh no, are they going to have the nuts again? <laughs> well, I've got a Getz Verdict to help me out. 
Okay. Going in for the ancient stirrings. Yep. Show me the mine. Star. Okay. Kind of have to wish they are... Uh... Okay. Double guess. Nothing to do just yet. Unfortunately, we're on a really slow draw. Probably should not have kept this hand in hindsight. It's just way too slow and reactive. Ugh. Turn three, Tron. That's going to get us. There's a prophetic prism. It's going to draw them a card. And then I'm guessing uh, Kozilek's Predator. Oh, black. Dread drone. Okay. So, gonna eat a verdict. <sighs> Opponent. Casting. All right. Well, I guess the very not going to do me much good anymore, so I guess we go for the... I guess we cycle Baron more. I guess we cast the Butcher Ghoul. Get him with a Carrion Feeder. And I'm going to maximize my damage. Also helps me fight Electricery, I guess. Another Prism. into Muldrifter. Okay, that's really good. That's good for them. Okay, sacking for green. Is this the Predator? Yeah, there's the Predator. Okay, getting back. There are two spawns. Okay, so they got a little board here. Oh, second them right away for another prism, sure. Well, that makes my guess verdict a lot better. Oh, choking sands. Hmm, I think I do cast it, but on the mine or the power plant? Let's go for the let's go for the power plant. And uh, do I want to attack? I don't think so, unfortunately. No. Hopefully that puts them off their mana. Hopefully. Cause that cost me a whole turn. No! Ancient stirring, stop it. Okay, thriving grove, sure. So, they only have three mana, or two mana left for the turn, so they're actually really screwed. Yep. Yeah. Playing another prism. Four prisms. No! <laughs> oh, please tell me they didn't top deck that. Holy moly. Reaver. 
Oh, that's depressing. Kind of keep putting off playing Getz Verdict, but here we are. Okay, gonna pile everything on there, eh? So, let's see, that's a 2-2, two, two, right? Oh, God, that's hard to see. 2-2, two, two. Uh, so I could sack, and so three, four, five, six. I, could, six. I could sack my entire board and eat both their dudes. I kind of think it's the right call just because I do have double ghoul callers chant. Can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> How big are you? Five five? All right. Eat it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. There's the thriving grove. Lay down a crusher. Show me the crusher. Ah, it's a hatcher. Okay, that's unfortunate. Makes them three spawns. Two zombies. Let's go for the Butcher Ghoul and Reaver. Oh, I messed up. That should have been uh, Butcher Ghoul and Carnophage. Oh well. So I guess we'll sack the Lazatep Reaver, pick it up, and pick up the Carnophage as well. So let's get in. Stupid blockers for days. Carnophage, Reaver. Pass the turn. It's got a 7-7 seven, seven carrying feeder. Too bad he can't block. <laughs> Another thriving grove. Getting him with the hatcher. Yep. Yep. I'll take three, go to 17. No plays, surprising. Ooh, Festering Mummy's actually quite good here. So let's play the Festering Mummy. Let's play... Lazatep Reaver. Gonna kill my zombie army here. Looks like I like trickery. So we're gonna sack this. <laughs> sack this. Kill this. Don't know if that was the best play, but I mean, it's hard to play around Carrion Feeder, unfortunately. God, he's a 9 9. He's a big boy. Build your own crusher. Mm hmm. All right.
opponent may be really high on lands here. Nothing. No plays. Okay. I'll pay for the Carnophage. I really want to get Verdict the Hatcher. Ugh. Okay. It's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's exact Z's here. Let's play the Butcher Ghoul just in case. Man, did we get there? Woo! Oh, man, I cannot believe that. After that first game, I was like, oh, man, we are so screwed. But we ended up getting there. We saw, like, pretty much the ideal draw for them in game one. And then games two and three, I think, were a little bit more realistic with what their deck is capable of. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.